This looks like a small balance of a fluorescent tube, but this isn't. It's an electrical switch, but not your typical switch. It's a smart switch module. It controls anything you connect to it with smart capabilities, meaning via remote control, via an app, voice assistant, and a physical remote control. Do we really need this? Join me in exploring this smart device and stay until the end of the video to learn more. Please subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell. There are numerous brands of smart switch modules manufactured by several companies using different smart app platforms. This one is using the eWe Link app and is carrying the Nick eSeed brand sold online at about 200 pesos each. I have four of these. Um, this is actually a mini smart uh, switch module, mini because uh, there are other bigger versions of this. This measures uh, about four by seven centimeters. This one only carries a 10 amperes uh, load or maximum load. There are um, 16 ampere versions which will fit with bigger appliances. In most electrical devices, the bigger the ratings, the bigger the size of the device. Um, it's also a 220 volts and 50 or 60 hertz rating, so it works here in the Philippines. Um, it carries the logo of ROHS or Restriction of Hazardous Substances. Um, it means it passed the requirement of the European Union on uh, electrical uh, and electronic equipment as far as the toxic substances are, are concerned. And there's also the FCC uh, logo. Um, it means this is certified by the Federal Communications Commission and can be sold in the U.S. It means the device is found to have no radio frequency interference with other devices. Next, um, there's also a CE mark here, which means this device can also be marketed within the European economic area. And last, the Wi-Fi logo here. This can be connected only to the 2.4 gigahertz channel now the left side of the switch is the input where you connect the supply line from your ac alternating current while the right side is the output where you should connect your load like bulbs devices and others i installed one of the smart switches in my temporary workshop using a mi led smart bulb essential here, I noticed that if you turn off the smart switch, the Mi Smart Bulb will lose power and goes offline. So, I ended up turning on permanently the switch while using either the Mi Home app or the Google Home app or the voice assistant to control the bulb. Remember, a smart bulb needs a continuous power supply for it to stay online. I have a separate video about Yi Light Flex Switch, which let flex switch capable smart bulbs to stay online all the time please check the link above meanwhile i decided to replace the mi smart bulb with an ordinary bulb so that i could maximize the smart switch module you can install the smart switch module in areas where physical switch is not available or a switch cannot be installed you can use the module to control lamps and other devices for demonstration purposes, I have here a Mac connection using the smart switch modules. It's loaded with a smart downlight from Xiaomi. By the way, the smart switch module has a physical switch on board, this tiny slot here. This is actually its reset button, which you need for pairing with the EWI Link app. I'm turning it on. And also this one and another one so this is one way of uh, turning on and off the switch but it's not practical to use this reset button once you install the switch module especially if you uh, place it at a higher uh, area you can control the smart switch uh, module on the eWi link app or in Google Home, since uh, I link my uh, eWi Link account with Google, here on my Google Nest Hub 2, you can also control the smart switch modules. I can turn it off, turn it off, 
and turn it off. By the way, if you haven't watched my review on the Google Nest Hub 2, the link is found uh, above. Since it's connected to Google Home, then I can use the Google Assistant to control the smart switch modules. Turn on smart switch 2. Okay, turning the smart switch 2 on. And also smarts 3 and 4. Okay, turning on two outlets. Thank you. Glad I could help. It's my favorite thing to do. And the most handy way to control the smart switch modules is by using this E-Wheelink remote control. This can handle uh, up to four switches. You can see here one, two, three, and four. Unlike the remote control for our TV sets, this isn't using infrared, but it's connected to Wi-Fi. It means you can use this anywhere in your house as long as there is Wi-Fi signal. Take this for example, I can turn on and off the bulb in my temporary workshop, which is controlled by one of my smart switch module. You can see the lights here. I'll turn, off, I'll turn it off. The pilot light here indicates the operation is successful. By the way, this video live feed is from my old Samsung Galaxy S6 which I connect to the EWE Link app using a special separate app. Um, that is bind to the smart switch module in my workshop. So whenever I open the EWE Link app, and open the switch module in my workshop, I can view the camera live feed. Maybe I will come out with a separate video about this later. Again, the button number one here is for my smart switch number one, which is located in my tempor temporary workshop upstairs. You see there? Then the number, the rest of the buttons here are for the rest of the smart switches number two number three number four now if i push the off button here all of the lights will turn off including the uh the bulb upstairs and if i'm going to push the on button here all the four switches will turn on This remote control is uh, powered by two AAA batteries. Pairing the remote control with the smart switch is easy. Just go to the EWI Link app, then you select the smart switch. Then you go to the setting at the right corner. There's the three dots there. Open it. Then you scroll down to EWI Link remote. Then there's an instruction here. Please tap the button in the app, then press the corresponding button on the remote to finish learning. It means you have to select one of the keys in the remote control which you're going to assign this particular switch, okay? So let's stop and I'll select number one on the button. It says remote added successfully, okay? So that's it. All you have to do is uh, repeat the procedure with other uh, um, smart devices or smart switch and uh, you can input up to four smart switches on the remote control. If you need to know more about these products, please comment below. Again, this channel needs your support. Please subscribe and click that notification bell. And also follow our Facebook page, Historiang High Tech. Dekan selamat, ako si Jun Tariman, High Tech, bye!